Week 3 OVFL action as the Cumberland Panthers travel to Scarborough to battle the Thunder, the team that eliminated them from the playoffs last season. On the opening drive, the Cumberland Panthers offense was clicking as Curly Gaines Jr. would get a first down, followed by Paul Deavy also rushing for a first down. Later on in the drive on third down, Drew Garvey would deliver a strike and Curly Gaines Jr. would get the third first down of the drive. Not avoiding the running game, Paul Deavy would keep flexing his muscle, getting it closer to the goal line, where Drew Garvey would convert the touchdown to Curly Gaines Jr., giving the Panthers a 6-0 lead. Here comes the thunder, as Steve Penga would drive it to the outside, but Dan Basabamba would chase him down, minimizing the gain. Later on in the drive on third down, Connor Smith would toss it up to Daynar Facey, pulling it down on third down, setting up this. Steve Penga driving it off tackle left for the touchdown, tying up this game, 6-6. The Cumberland Panthers, though, would start right where they left off. Drew Garvey would toss up a beautiful pass to Curly Gaines Jr., and he'd follow it up by a beautiful pass for a touchdown to Curly Gaines Jr., giving the Panthers a 13-6 lead. The Panthers defense would then step up, ending the Thunder drive in its tracks. Setting up the Panthers offense, who would keep moving the ball as Curly Gaines Jr. would work his magic and almost break away down the sidelines. Setting up this from Quinton Gregory, who would find a way to squeak into the end zone, giving the Cumberland Panthers a 20-6 lead. On the ensuing kickoff, Jamarcus Williams would make a great hustle play as he'd fearlessly go for the ball, and he would recover it, giving the Panthers great field position, but they would be unable to capitalize. Later on in the drive, Connor Smith would roll out and find Danar Facey, who makes a great play on the sideline, getting some extra yardage for the Toronto Thunder. Again, Connor Smith rolling to his right, finds Danar Facey, who gets his feet in, but the Thunder would be forced to punt to the ever-dangerous Curly Gittins Jr who almost finds a way to take this one to the house. Unfortunately, the Panthers could not capitalize on the good field position, giving the ball back to the Thunder, but Connor Smith would give it right back as Octave Nowish with a huge interception, but again, the Panthers offense couldn't capitalize. Later on, the Thunder would throw a pass, and it, it's called pass interference. Looks like good defense to me, and the Thunder wouldn't hesitate to capitalize on that bad call as they would take it into the end zone, making it 20-13. to 13. With the momentum clearly in favor of the Toronto Thunder, the Panthers are looking for a huge play, and they would get it from Nicholas Brunet, but unfortunately, the drive would stall later on. With only a few minutes remaining and the Panthers' defense needing a big play, Aiden Cowan would step up and sack Connor Smith. Leading to this, Connor Smith dropping back and a very questionable pass interference call against Octave Nowish setting up the last play of the game. Connor Smith in the pocket, fumbles the snap, throws it up, and it is intercepted by Kadeem Pierre, sealing the game for the Cumberland Panthers and giving them a huge road victory.